Real quick on the 3D Sen NES emulator for PC, which is currently on Steam Early Access, but comes out in a week. I believe it's going to be $19.99. It is a an NES 3D emulator. And we spoke about one in the past that was actually 3D NES, where it, it did, um, you know, you load up a ROM and it was 3D. This seems like this is a whole nother advanced level of, of having a 3D emulator. A whole nother ball of wax. Yes. Because not that not that the the 3D NES emulator was 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 bad. It was fine. It still made things 3D. A little bit of shadow effects. This though really ups the ante a bit. And the developer has been doing it has has been working on this for five years. It turns out, and there's already uh, videos on YouTube where you look at this, and this is more work put into individual games. It looks like in terms of figuring out the whatever the the 3D profile for each game to really make it look like this isn't slapped together. And that's the, the one bad part about this, though, is that it's, this isn't going to be you buy, you buy the emulator, you can load up any ROM you want, and you're good to go. No. You have to wait for these profiles to be created right. to have these probably work and look like anything worth it, damn. But if you look at some of the videos, though, Ian, uh, even something like Wild Gunman, where like the hat on the guy is 3D, the, the bandito that comes out, and then like the, the cacti are on a totally different plane mm -hmm. of play than the characters and it truly is 3d and i'm not i don't know what goes into this i don't know how this was developed differently than the last uh 3d emulator but this really looks like at least to me not trying to bloviate too much like you're playing all new brand new games some of these when you're playing these the legend of zelda one to me um looked looked incredible when i looked at it the way the trees popped up um the octorox were fully 3d the water on the bridges sort of went over the bridges to give a little effect so there's some little extra touches put into this like right. there's some stuff uh, somehow that are in these games that aren't in the original nes game they have added to these uh 3d send versions of this i don't know what, what's your impression i think it looks great i think it looks i don't love the look but i think it's incredibly impressive um and some of the games did look better than others i did think the wild gunman one looked um very nice it's just a 2d game like yeah. on a plane and then all of a sudden it looks i don't know yeah um I, yeah i think it's i think it's very cool um it'll be interesting to see how many games it ends up supporting but it, like most things that do this sort of thing like filters and whatnot i mean obviously this is far more than a filter it does look like a new game i always end up going back to the original. you went to the original i always go back to the original um you know any of these like games that come out where like you can press a button and you can switch between like new graphics and old graphics i always end up going back to the old graphics even if the new ones are really nice hand drawn 2d or or something like that um because it's more comfortable for you or are you just used I, to it i think it's just because i'm used to it I, okay so i like this it's it's I, I like the idea it's very interesting but i don't know that i would actually get enough use out of it to um buy it yeah, that well, said, it's cool. It, it's obviously something that is. I mean, it looks like it takes a shitload of work. Well, if you said five years. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Compare this. Yeah, it, it looks like a step up. I know they're still updating the the 3D uh, NES emulator. That one came out. That was originally a browser one too, right? You could do. Yeah. This one looks like the curtains in Castlevania are swaying somehow. I don't know how you build stuff like that in, but um, like I said, it's adding things that are not in the nes game um i just don't wow i'd, I'd love to talk to them. I'd be like how do you program that in how do you how do you make it in they're waving in 3d they're waving yeah. laterally and vertically they, they're waving the curtains the more i look at this the more i'm like wow this is this is not just a emulator with a little you know little 3d filter somehow made into it there's a little bit more going on Arkham looks cool playing it from in this video from Pat and Plays. He's he has it in the bottom, looking up when you're playing Arkanoid. It's and so you can see like you know the yeah the some of the watch. some of the stuff that starts messing with camera angle and whatnot is pretty cool. Let's see what else they got in here real quick. Uh, Ghosts and goblins. You can definitely see the different planes. You can see the, like how the grass, how far it goes back to grass until you get to like the tombstones. There, the fires in 3D when you throw the fireball. Um, when you look at what is the, the third stage of of Ghosts and Goblins, when you're jumping up all the like ice tower, mm -hmm. the angle changes when it's up top. You know, it's like you're looking at it in 3D. The angle of, of the platforms change as you travel. 
This, this isn't this isn't a cheap little effect. I can see why he's charging for this. He's working on this for five years. Uh, here, yeah. Uh, how is Pac-Man? Oh, Pac-Man in 3D looks like Pac-Man. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, not, I mean, it's still Pac-Man as a pie face, but like it's it's 3D Pac-Man. What what else can you say? It's a 3D Pac-Man. That to me, it, that's probably the best example to to see how it looks in terms of how it's really working. And everything has you know shadows that are moving around in real time on the characters. Check it out. The coins are the the coins are rotating in Super Mario Brothers. Um, yeah, I, the piranha plants are rotating when they come up. Nice. Yeah, it's cute. I think I would I think I would want to play through Legend of Zelda and and just see how it is if if it really feels like a full game to me. Uh, you know, a full different game when you go through. Probably it. like 3D dot game heroes then. Oh sure, that's probably what the closest thing. You know, have that like two and a half D effect mm -hmm. on there. All right, check it out there. Just not, not trying to sell it for the guy but you know i was very impressed by this and we didn't talk about it when it was first sort of announced